You're listening to a new track I wrote called 3AM Under the Arches. It's available from my Bandcamp page. My earlier Show Me video used a distortion pedal and the Soundblocks Pro bass envelope filter. But for this piece of music, I used the new Manta bass filter, also by Source Audio. Um, it's a smaller pedal with slightly different features and I'm just going to show you how I got the sound you're hearing in this piece. It's a really powerful pedal, it can do a lot more than what I'm showing you in this video. The first thing I need to do is I want to enable the extended mode of filter parameters. By hitting this control input button, holding it down and then quickly holding down this one, the option select, I can switch between having a choice of 12 possible filter settings or 24. If I hit this button again, hold it down and quickly press that one, now I can have double the amount. So to show you what kind of sounds you can get just from using the filters, I've got a, um, a patch set up which I've I'm using the um, LFO to open and close the filter so that I don't have to use the hot hand so you can just hear what the manta sounds like. So let's start at the bottom. Here we go. And we'll work our way up. If you look in the manual you'll work, you, it will tell you what all these settings are. at the end. The good thing about this pedal is that Source Audio have introduced distortion. This is what we use to get dubstep wobbles. I select the drive by going, just keep pressing this button until the green light drives up, lights up to show me drive which is the top one. So at the moment I've got drive set on, on zero. If as I increase now this option knob is um, assigned to whatever that green light, the lights on here match up with. So. I'll add, it, I'll add about that much. Now I've just turned drive up but I haven't selected a drive type so I need to select the next one. Oops. There. And now you'll hear the sounds change. So there are, how many are there? There are, here we go, drive types. Eight different drive types. That's one. So now I'm going to select the frequency option and I'm going to see if I can tweak anything using this, no, using this knob. There we go. Quite like that. 
This knob adjusts the speed of the LFO. This knob adjusts how the extremeness of the opening and closing. So there's a very little movement going on if I put it in midday. Extreme left makes the um, the wobs go either wob or orb. So this one. You can't really hear it on that one. For the piece of music I've made, I want to use the hot hand to open and close the filter rather than the LFO. So I'm just going to plug the hot hand in here. And the receiver's plugged on. Flashing blue light means it's waiting for the hot hand to, um, controller to be turned on. So I'm just going to turn the controller on here. And now it's locked on blue and locked on blue, which means we're ready to go. Now I've configured this, or calibrated it, so for the motion I want to use, there's a little, this little print here, I always put my finger, I, I put my finger in so that the print is facing my body. That's just the way I've calibrated it and it's the way I remember it. You might, th you might want to do it so that the um, adapter plug socket faces faces your body but whatever way you remember it the thing is it's different if you've calibrated it this way then if you switch the, the, the ring round the sound is different I'll show you that so I'm going to bring up my um, my setting that I use so it's just a um, low pass two poles I think they are down here and I've got drive setting three on here and I don't have a lot of um, drive I have the depth set, set to maximum and I leave the the um, the speed at midday because I don't want to catch small movements I'll show you what it sounds like so let me show you if I put the ring on the other way around so I'm just going to switch the ring round so I'm turning it round like this and I'm going to do exactly the same motions So now up opens a filter. That's too that's tiring. I don't want to use it like that. So that's why I'm going to put it the the intended way round. Here we go. So let's hear what that sounds like in the mix. So it's all about controlling the amount of opening. Sometimes I want it to open more and sometimes I want it to open less. So for a subtle under undertone wobble, that's enough. But if I want to do like a more open, aggressive wobble, And by having the, fil the filter closed, so my hand up like this, I'm able to hammer on with my left hand. Now earlier I spoke about the speed knob, 
which is this one and if I set I set this at mid at midday so that, that I could have a bigger hand gesture if I set the speed up to maximum very small hand gestures will trigger the filter I mean it's great for effects and scribbling but that's not what I want for the piece <laughs> so put it back to normal so thanks for watching and hope you check out my other videos <laughs>